Enhanced V-Motion Compatibility, EVC. EVC is a feature that ensures that servers with different CPU generations can coexist in a single cluster. After the EVC is enabled, all hosts in the cluster presents CPU features of a user-selected type to all virtual machines running in the cluster. Advantage of EVC is that we can mix older and newer server generations in the same cluster and we can migrate it with vMotion. An EVC enabled cluster allows only CPUs from a single vendor in the cluster. We cannot mix different vendors like AMD and Intel in a single cluster. So what happens when we enable EVC cluster wise? So EVC enforces a CPU ID instruction baseline for the virtual machines. So that means EVC will allow and expose CPU instruction sets to virtual machines depending on the supported compatibility level. So EVC option was available only for cluster level prior to vSphere 6.7. So recommendation regarding EVC is to enable it from the beginning itself. So enabling it in a brownfield scenario will be a challenging as it requires downtime for the virtual machines. So here is the option to enable the EVC and we send a 6 point supports these EVC modes. Per VM EVC is a feature that we can enable on an individual virtual machine. This feature was introduced from vSphere 6.7 version. By implementing this feature, this mode becomes an attribute of the virtual machine rather than the specific processor generation it happens to be booted. So virtual machine hardware version 14 or up is required to enable per VM EVC feature. So when we configure it, when we configure EVC, this configuration is saved in VMX file. And this per VM EVC mode overrides the settings configured at the cluster base level. Okay, we can enable EVC on a per VM basis like this. Thank you.